Hey guys, Ariana Moon with you today with a new game called Sally Face. This one came up in my Steam queue and it looked really interesting. It was recommended because we've already played Franbo. So I wanted us to check it out together. I actually don't know much about the game. I watched a little bit of the trailer, but that was about it. Just to see if you if it was something I thought you guys would be interested in. So it's about this child. He's wearing something on his face. I don't want to give anything away in the story that I saw in the trailer because it's going to be new to me. Just as I hope it's going to be new to you. So it looks really great. A little bit creepy. I love a little bit creepy. So come on and let's see how this game goes. New game. It was just like the last time. Only this time, it started in a hospital. What? Hello? Somebody answer the phone. Hello? Hello? Would that be me? Answer the phone. Hello? It's okay, Sal. Everything's going to be okay now. Come and see. Who is this? Sal, come and find me. What? Weird. Sounded like my dad. Hmm. Okay, I don't know about y'all, but I can't see shit. We may have to try this again. Oh, it's because it's dark. Let's turn on the light switch. No, we can see. What a cute little cheeky puppy on the wall. How adorable. Where are we? What happened? What is up with that? Obviously, we're in a hospital. Ooh, that's a lot of blood. Ooh, a key. Okay. Yeah. A key! So it's just that, a key. All right. Hmm. Q. Inventory. Okay, what's our goal? Stuffs and goal. Okay. Okay, it's linear. We walk back and forth. I didn't even try the door. I guess, how do we use the key? Do we need the key? I guess we don't. Wait, brick wall? Hmm. Okay, we don't go that way. D. C. Well, we'll just go with D. Open. Ugh, this place is disgusting. Somebody needs to come clean it up. Are we in a different hallway? Oh, we are. Okay. Ugh. How far does this go? Oh. There's a number three. That might be important. Three. Let's keep that in mind. I'm gonna go back to where we were before. Okay. We did D. Let's do C. Open sesame. That sound. Well, that just threw us back to nowhere. All right. So D goes to another one. C throws us back here. What about you, B? Not the right door. A. And there's no number down here. Oh, can we keep going? Nope. Throws this back. We obviously have to go through D. D it is. Now we try P, right? No, P throws us back. Oh, my God. All right. O. O for open. Ooh, is this... This place is even... Overgrown and messier than before, and the doors look even worse. Ooh, F, E, any number? Nope. You know what? We're going to try F just because. Why not? Takes us. Okay, this is a definitely a tricky situation. O took us there. Let's go see where N. It's going to throw us right back here. Of course. Hmm. I don't even know. Let's try that. Nope. Knew it. I knew it. I just said do it. That's what we do. And go back to there. So we go D. T. 
XO. Oh, gee. I wonder. Oh, gee. Where are we? Hum. Oh. This doesn't look well. What are you looking at? Why are you standing in the rain? And you're holding hands. It must be a sad day. Mm -hmm. Who's a good doggy? Who's a good wolfy looking doggy? Who's a good boy? I buried her alive, kid. You tell me. What? You buried her alive? Huh? Go see for yourself. Whoa, okay. It disappeared. What's up with that? Oh. Diana Fisher, beloved mother and wife? What? Uh, seriously? Yep, seriously. Let's go down in the grave. It's all damp down here. What are we supposed to find out? I don't even know. Oh, more. Battery's not included. Well, we need a code, and we don't have that. And I'm sure it's locked, of course. Have to try. Oh, we don't have passcode. Okay, this is not three. There was a three on the wall, but that's the only number we've seen so far. Is it just numbers and letters? Let's check. It's just numbers. Okay, we'll be back. If we can climb up. <gasps> Crummy, what happened? Four! Four! There's a four. I see a four. Do we see another number? How many numbers could it be? Let's try it. Three. Three. Uh, number key's not working. Three. Nope. Three. Four. I'm taking a stab at six. Did I just fry it? Are you kidding? Open. It worked! It worked! I can't believe it worked. I just was guessing. Well, we had the first two numbers, but I just took a guess on the other one because, you know, alarm codes. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's move on. This house is a mess. What's happened here? Dad? You are not my son. My son is not a murderer. What? Ooh. We did. This is your fault. No, it's not. I have no idea what this story's about, but, um, okay. Somebody said it was like, it got recommended because it's like Franbo. This is bad. Mom? Oh. Are you? Mom. And that's when I wake up. Hmm. Yes. It's an interesting dream. I think we should come back to that dream later. But for now, can you tell me more about the body? Which one? The second one. The one from the apartment. Dad and I just moved in. I had a weird feeling about that place right away. Hmm. Okay. Episode one, Strange Neighbors. Talk about getting just thrown in here and boy, here we go. We are doing this. Hey, there we are. What's, uh, this will be our new beginning. We can finally leave what happened in New Jersey behind us now. Why don't you go explore the building and make some friends while I finish unpacking, unpacking, end it. Okay, well, let's unpack. Is this our room? Oh no, leave, no, we're not ready to leave. South's room, must be our room. Let's come in. It's a kitty cat. Hi kitty. Gizmo! I see you've made yourself at home already, Gizmo. Must be nice. Yep, 
all cozy on the bed. They don't need sheets. TV games, plug it in. <gasps> Ooh, okay, a gear boy. Let's take it. I was wondering where that was. Yeah, now we have it in our inventory. What can we do with it? Stuff. Okay, and we have explored the building. Hmm. Can we go any further? Nope. And all I can do is really push things forward or back. That's it. Okay, so we have to go back to the living room. The, the controls are pretty simple. Straightforward. Let's go to Dadger. What's in here? Hmm. Nope. Mattress. Hi, Dad. Dad's in his room. Imagine that. Hey, kiddo. Decided to take a break from unpacking? That's not a bad idea. We've been at it for a while now. Maybe I'll take a break myself. Uh, ooh, okay, let's ask that one. What do you think about this place? It may not be as nice as our old house, but we'll make the best of things. As long as we have each other, I think we can make a real home here. Should we just go down the list? I know you do, bud, but please try to give it a chance. School will start up in a couple of weeks, and then you'll be able to make all new friends. Yeah, I guess so. I know so. Anyone would be lucky to have you as a friend, Sal. Thanks, Dad. Hmm. I miss Mom. Yeah. Me too, buddy. Me too. Okay, well... See ya! Try not to get into too much trouble. Me? Never. What are you talking about? Is that a quarter behind you? Can I have it? Push that out of the way. Uh, no. Never mind. Okay, goodbye. Yep, you do that. Guess I can't have his quarter. Okay, so much for that. Oh. I guess we're leaving. Bye-bye. All right, we're in apartment 402. Remember that, because we have to come back to this place. 402. That's home. Ay, 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 ay. Go back out the door. Oh, let's see who our neighbors are. Knock, knock. No one's home. Hmm. Okay, we'll be back. Nope, no, Not that way. Oh, 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 hello. 403. Police sign, do not cross. Hmm. Hello. Hmm. Why are you standing here? I'm protecting nosy little freaks like you from seeing what they ought not to say. Now scram. I don't get paid to babysit. <laughs> okay. Who are you? I'm your fairy fucking godmother. What does it look like? I'm an officer of the law, so you better show me some respect. Okay. What happened in that room? Police business, kid. Why don't you run back along back to your parents? I wish I could. What was that, wise ass? Nothing. Well, he's not a very nice police officer. That's what I thought. Stupid weirdo kid. I guess we better just walk away. Bye-bye. We don't want to talk to you anyway. You're not very nice at all. Blah. Oh, a key card for the basement. Maybe later. Okay. We're on floor four. Let's go up, but let's go up. Let's go up. Up, please. Woo. Notice this floor is currently being renovated. For your safety, please make your way to the nearest exits. Um, knock, knock. Ooh, open. Let's go be nosy. Locked. Poo. All right, fine. This one? There's no numbers. Locked. Oh, that was 501. Nope. Okay, other way. We're just exploring. We're just out exploring, that's all. Hello, 503. Locked. Why are all these doors locked? Oh, they're not all locked. Imagine that. Ooh, 
so sorry. I, I didn't think anyone lived up in here. You okay? Hello? Sir? Are you okay? You shouldn't have come here. I'm sorry. I was just trying to get to know my, my new neighbors in a dark place. This building. Horrible things happen. Are you sure you're okay? What the? It's gone. Ooh, spooky, creepy. And the door's boarded up. And we're walking on his bed. He was here just a moment ago. Leave. Shall we go to the bathroom? Yeah, we shall. That's weird. The bathroom door is locked. It is weird. Somebody's in there. Okay, we'll leave. Bye. It's a little too creepy for us. Not really. And that's the end of that. Hmm. Who was that strange man? All right, let's get down. Three it is. Okay. Wet floor. This place doesn't look so bad. Hi. Hey! Oh my! Sorry, you just startled me a little bit. You must be one of those new guys from 402, yeah? With all the excitement going on today, I haven't had a chance to stop in and say hi. Yeah, it's just me and my dad. My name is Sal. Pleasure to meet you, Sal. I'm Lisa. I take care of this place. Keep things up and running. So if you ever need help with anything, don't hesitate to ask, all right? Okay? Sure, thanks. You're quite welcome. All righty. And we're not going that way. Hey, who's in through? Knock, knock. No one's home. They're all at work. Figures. It's the middle of the day. Of course they are. Oh, hey, you. Move that sign out of my way. I want to talk to this kid. Eh, I can't. What? Hey, lady. I want to get over there to that kid. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Sal. What's up? Oh, we do get conversation with her. How long have you been working here? Actually, I don't just work here. I live here, too. I'm on call 24-7 for, for any emergency maintenance needs. Despite what you may hear from others, this is a lovely building. I'm happy to call it home. Going on 10 years now. It seems like a nice place. You betcha. She's a little happy, isn't she? What do others say about the building? Oh, all kinds of stuff, I'm sure. This building is well over a hundred years old, you know. People are always complaining about one thing or another. But you'll hear no complaints from me. I'm a woman of action. If I see a problem, I'll fix it. Well, that's good. Yeah, most people do seem to complain a lot about the small things. You can't sweat the small stuff, Sal. It's just no way to live, you know? You're right. Take it from me. You focus on the good stuff, focus on what makes you happy in this life, put your energy into that. You said it, sister. All right, oh, we've gotta change the subject now. So, do you know anything about what happened in 403? Ah, uh, it's a shame you and your dad had this crummy first impression. I promise things are typically so gruesome around here. Poor Mr. Sanderson. Who's Mrs. Sanderson? Oh, it's Mrs. Sanderson. Oh, never mind that. Best not set your mind on such dreadful things. Huh, okay. Is there anything to do for fun around here? You know what? I have a son around your age. I think you two would get along great. He's downstairs in our apartment. You should go introduce yourself. Well, then who's that kid back there? Sure, I'll go say hi. Great, his name is Larry. He'll be in the basement. Tell him I sent you down. You'll need a key card to access it from the elevator, though. Here, take this one. I've got a few extras. Score! 
Cool, thanks. All right, we got a key card. Ooh, is the building haunting? I don't know. Sal, sweetie, I've been taking care of the Addison apartments for a long time, and I've never seen any ghosts or goblins. That's just people's overactive imaginations. Too much sweets and scary movies, if you ask me. All right, then. We'll see ya. See you around. All right, let's go. Can we get to this kid yet? Hey. Hey, you. Nope. Oh, and I guess we can't go to that. So we're going to go down one floor. One more. Not the basement just yet. We got to go see Larry first. Although she said he's in the basement. Knock, knock. What was that? Hello? Hmm. I guess no one is home. Although those were some really strange sounds coming from back there. Okay. What? The goat? No wonder they couldn't hear us knocking. Oh, we knocked again. Oops. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Okay, no one's off. They didn't hear a thing. Okay, we'll just go about your business. No one's home. No one's ever home. Larry, where are you? Hi. Nope. He's in the basement. She said so. Yeah, who's there? It's Charlie. Hello. I'm new in the building. I just wanted to introduce myself to the neighbors. Okay, come in. Who's Charlie? Oh. Hi, my name is Sal. I just moved in today with my dad. What the hell is with your face, child? Oh, I know. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, I know. Young teens. A new generation of self-expression. I was young once myself. I get it. Do ya? Look at all those knickknacks. Are those a Funko Pops back there? Cool, I love it. And little ponies and oh, unicorns. Just so long as you're not in a gang or anything. You're not in a gang, are you? No, 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 no. It's nothing like that. Wonderful. Well, I'm Charlie. Don't mess with my stuff and we'll be okay. I'm a collector, you see. I collect many things. I see that. It's a cool collection. These things are like my family. So if you mess with my collections, you're messing with my family. Got it? Uh, yes, sir. Not a problem. I won't be giving you any troubles. Good to hear. That's a fabulous collection. It really is. But I can't. Oh, we can look at it. Bask in the glory of my complete set of glitter ponies. A great accomplishment it is to have this full set. You can look all you want, but don't even think about touching them. What's a glitter pony? Ooh. I think we just made a boo-boo. My God, child! Have you never seen My Glitter Ponies Rainbow Spectacular? It's only the greatest television show ever produced. It's got drama, action, romance, comedy, everything you could want. And the ponies, oh, the ponies, don't even get me started. Hmm, yeah. <laughs> um. I'm sorry, I got myself giggling. Hmm, I guess I missed that one. I have to look for it on TV. <laughs> Sal doesn't get as excited as Charlie, apparently. <laughs> yes, you will. Trust me, you won't regret it. <laughs> I don't know, I'm having a feeling about this. Well, let's see what else. I guess if we look again, it's the same conversation. I know, they're so cool, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, we're done. <laughs> we're not going to go through that again. Nice to meet you, Charlie. Any more convo you got? Okay. So. Yep, I know. You're speechless because you've never seen such an awesome collection. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. Anytime I'm home, you can stop by and take it all in again. 
<laughs> That's nice. Nice place you got. It's my own chunk of heaven. Just me and my stuff. Do you live here alone? Alone? Look around you. I have the company I, I have all the company I could ever need. Well, it is nice to have a visitor from time to time, I suppose. Okay, we'll, we'll be right back. Okay, be right back. Bye. <gasps> what is this? Oh, I can't watch his collection of glitter ponies on VHS or DVD. <laughs> they're, they're probably on VHS. Maybe on Betamax or something. 8mm? I don't know. Okay, let's go. I'm just joking. Nothing that way. All right, let's go see if Larry's in the basement. Nobody else was home. First floor. Actually, first floor. Star. It's special. Always left. Always go left. First door. Thank you. Anybody this way? Nope. Knock, knock. <gasps> oh, goodness. Yeah, what do you want? A little early for trick-or-treating, isn't it? good for nothing kids okay bye miss gibson i don't think we'll be seeing you again soon Whew. that green skin though wow that was a shock knock knock no one's home holy moly addison, addison. oh dear what a Rifle, uh, pardon me, let's start over. Hello, young sir. New resident rests in apartments, room 402. How may I be of service? How do you know who I am? I know all that. That's a mister? I've seen a ponytail on the side. That's a mister, Addison. I know all that takes place within these walls, sir. You'll do good to remember that. What a difference in that voice. Can I come in? You're just going to ask to come into strangers places. You're such a friendly kid, let me tell you. Heavens no, I'm afraid that I'm quite particular about my privacy. I'm sure you understand. Sure. Bye. Farewell, friend. How did I mistake those eyes for a girl when that's obviously a man behind that little peephole, behind that little mail slot? And it said Mr. Addison. That is obviously a Mr. Addison. That is obviously not a little ponytail sticking out from behind his ears. Sure thing. Little things. <laughs> knock, knock. No one seen. Oh, hi. I just ran into you. What's going on? Hello, young man. You just moved in today, correct? Yes, sir. I already spoke with your father. Seems you two were out of state when everything happened last night. Story checks out. That's good. Try not to get in our way for now, okay? We're investigating a serious crime. Who was it murder? I can't talk about that. Was it murder? I can't talk about that. I gotta, it's, I don't know. I just liked asking it the second time, you know. Bye. Okay, bye. So long. Moving on. Nope, we're not moving on. Basement. Here we come. We have a key card. Yes. Ooh, it's the laundry room. Not too creepy. Do we need to do laundry? Gee, I sure am looking forward to using this. Not. I know. Well, you never know. You might find quarters. I always check the laundry mat. Okay. You can find quarters. Biohazards. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Lost and found. Nothing that way. Okay. Hello? Where's the kid? Oh, that's her apartment. She has an apartment in the basement. Downstairs. I was thinking she was this floor down. I don't have any money yet. Lots of tasty junk food. I'm not really hungry, though. 
Okay. Oh, we're just going to open it up. We don't even knock. We're just going on in. <laughs> we're making ourselves at home. Like we own the place. Oh, look. There she is. There's our kid. Oh, hello. Look at that pizza on there. Somebody's enjoying it. Nice and set. This is a little bit awkward walking in somebody's el- <gasps> What the hell was that? My sentiments exactly, Sally Face. <gasps> what was that? That, see, walking in somebody else's house, creepy ass, don't do it. Don't. Da, ah, we're going to walk over there, are we? Uh, yeah, I came out of the trash can. That's what happens when you throw away stinky food. Ooh. Ugh. No, I can't get in the fridge. We don't want to see that again. I'm not going in that bathroom yet. All right, let's go in the bathroom. Oh, crap, it's dark in here. Why is it so dark in the bathroom? Where's the freaking light switch? Ugh. Okay, we don't have to use this. Nothing. What's the point of coming in here? No, there's no point right now. Unless we use it to get away from the thing that was back there in the kitchen. <sighs> Nothing in the chest. All right. Larry, what the heck have you got living in your house here, dude? All right, so that's Lisa's room. Where Are we going to be Snoopy? Yes, of course we're going to be Snoopy. Let's go be Snoopy. It's locked. Guess we're not going to be Snoopy. <laughs> Y'all don't invite me over to your house because I'm going to be Snoopy. <laughs> Not really. I, I'm more respectful of that. But in a video game, you betcha. Knock, knock, knock. Yeah. Hey, uh, Larry. Your mom said I could come say hi. I just moved into 402. Oh, hey. Come on in. Door's open. All right. <gasps> cool. I like his room already. Whoa, nice mask. I'm taking a minute to look. Awesome. Zombie everything all the time. The fear within. Very nice. What? Your soul will be destroyed. Such crazy things. He likes my mask, huh? It, it, it's, a, it's a prosthetic. We still don't know his story. Oh, shit. Sorry, man. It's cool. Oh, it's cool. I'm used to much worse by now. So, um, I'm glad you like it. So, do you, like, have no face under there? What, what happened? I'd rather not talk about that. I don't even know what happened. We just jumped in this store and we know nothing yet. Except he's got really cool blue hair. Um, so we don't know anything, so we gotta find out. Okay, change of subject. I'm Larry. I live down here with my mom. I'm Sal. My friends call me Sally Face. I just moved here with my dad from New Jersey. Sally Face? I guess, I guess I didn't really have any decent friends, to be honest. Aw, that's so sad. So once they started calling me that, I, I figured if I owned the name, then the assholes couldn't use it against me. Well, that's kind of true. You're a complicated dude, aren't you, Sal? You're pretty strange. I like you. We're going to get along great. Good. <laughs> That's what your mom said, too. Mother knows best. Okay, why do you live in the basement? My mom says it's because we got to guard the place from rats. But I'm pretty sure she gets this room rent-free with the maintenance gig. It's cool, though. I don't mind it. I get to listen to the music as loud as I want to when she's not around. Yeah, let's rock out. Nice. Yeah, it's like my own little bat cave. That's cool. I like your shirt. Thanks. Heh, <laughs> stands for Sally Face. <laughs> Get it? That's cool. <laughs> I do have my own clothing line, so. <laughs> it's actually for this metal band called Sanity's Fall. Do you like metal? I don't know. Oh, that's gotta change. Check out this song. I turned the sound down. I hope we can hear it. It's their first single. The full album comes out in a few months.
All right, I'm not I'm not rocking out too good to. There we go. <sighs> There we go. <laughs> love it. I love it. Get the, get the hair fun. Let it go. Let it run. <laughs> How many of you out there jamming to the beat? Whee! Cool. All right. What happened in 403? I have to yell over the music. Shush! Not so loud, man. What? What is it? The killer is still in the building! What? How do you know that? I saw it happen. Are you high right now? I wish I was, man. This was some scary shit. You know who did it? Yeah, it was definitely Charlie. Big creeper from 204. He was wearing gloves. So I don't think they got any prints or anything. What happened? I think I missed it. Okay, okay, okay. So, so I was helping Miss Sanderson with this with the clogged toilet. I was just finishing up when I heard him burst in, yelling like a lunatic. I know what you've done. Herman told me everything, you stupid bitch. She tried to calm him down, but before she could even get a few words out, he was cutting her throat. I was shocked. I couldn't move. I was frozen by fear, man. Just peeking through this crack in the bathroom door. Anyways, it all happened so fast, and when he cleaned up quickly and left, I don't know how, but he didn't even see me. I haven't really told anyone yet, not even my mom, but I trust you. Shouldn't you tell the cops? I actually tried to talk to that detective, but he won't listen to me without some kind of evidence. Like my word isn't enough. <laughs> okay. So what's up with the guy in 103? That's Mr. Addison. He owns this place. I don't think I've ever seen him leave his room. I always talks through that little mail slot. He's a nice dude, just real strange. Oh yeah, if you say Addison T, please and thank you to him. He'll give you a cup of his famous tea. <laughs> I hate the stuff myself, but the adults seem to love it. Okay. Well, see ya. Alright, so we got to rock out, and I kind of hope that music wasn't copyrighted. <sighs> so we'll see. Turn on the radio. There's some copyrighted music right away. What is this thing? It's a radio. That's uh, it's a police scanner. I can listen in on local cop chatter. How the hell did you get this thing? Now, that's a story for another day. But hey, you just gave me a great idea. If I make a fake call, maybe I can distract them long enough for you to sneak into 403. Maybe we can find some kind of evidence to show that detective something they weren't looking for. Sounds like I'm about to get in some big trouble. Pretty quick to sign me up for the break-in. <laughs> well, I gotta make the call down here and, uh, I'm just messing with you. Huh? I'm totally up for this. I've been wanting to peek in that room anyways. Sweet. So what's the plan? I'll call in a bank robbery, hostage situation, and... And that should clear out the cops for sure. I'm guessing that'll buy us a few minutes until they figure out it wasn't real. You gotta be upstairs when I do that so we can make those minutes count. We can use my walkie-talkies to communicate the whole thing. Then I can give you a heads up too once I know the cops are coming back. Oh, huh, sounds pretty solid to me. Maybe just switch the bank robbery with armed robbery like at a gas station or drugstore. Make it a little more believable. Hmm. Yeah, I guess you're right. Good call, Sally. Here, take this. Head to your room. Let me know when you're ready. Just press that shift button there to call me. We are... Look, do you see the... Look at the paintings. The paintings are the people that we saw and the dog. 
How weird is that? All right. Let's go then. Let's look at the painting. I like your paintings. Thanks, dude. It's my passion. Hmm. It's, uh, interesting. Ooh, can I do nothing there? Of course not. Crow man, what boy? We're on our way. What was that creepy, creepy thing, though? My goodness. All right, let's head straight to our room. Okay. So guess what, guys? We are, we are going to do it. We're going to go back up. You're going to have to wait till next episode to see what happens. Because we are going to take a break from Sally Face. This has been awesome. I don't even know this kid's story. What happened to his face or any of that stuff. But it's about to get deep. So I hope you're ready. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, give that like button a little flick and a swish. And if you want to see what happens next in Sally Face, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss another episode. And see what other videos I've got coming out just for you. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.